ever since I purchased that Rogue 25 with the Varsity patches, I've been on a mad hunt for the matching wallet and it was sold out on the Coach website. I just could not find it anywhere, but I finally was able to track the wallet down. So if you want to get a closer look at it and see what else I picked up, just keep watching. Hey sis, my name is Dre and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. Over here, we talk about luxury and contemporary handbags, lifestyle, and just stay on flying the budget. So if those are things that you're into, you should definitely subscribe to my channel. But anyway, I don't want to take too much time. I want to get right into it. So my very first unboxing on this channel was the Coach Rogue 25 with the Varsity patches. And I, for whatever reason, did not pick up the matching wallet when it was available on the Coach website. Now, the cheapest I saw it on Coach site, I believe, was $60. And I don't know why I didn't get it when it was available. But I decided to go back later. And of course, it was sold out. Um, I searched eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, just was not able to find it. But somebody told me on... Um, one of my coach groups mentioned a site called Club de Mode that's based out of Canada. And they told me that they were able to find a couple of items that were sold out online in the U.S. on that website. So I went to Club de Mode and searched for this wallet and lo and behold, they had it. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. Now, even though this place is supposed to be based in Canada, it the tracking information showed that it shipped from New York. Um, I will say it probably take a, took about six days to get here. So, I mean, not bad. I wasn't in any rush. I knew it would get here when it got here. So. But the other thing is, I'm not really big on matching wallets. So, the fact that I wanted this wallet says a lot. Because I typically don't buy matching wallets when I buy bags. But this is how it came wrapped. Very nice. The business card. That's very pretty, that purple tissue paper and the gold sticker. And it's in the original coach wrapping up under all of that. So here we are. This is, what do they call this? So this is in the Cardinal. This is a coach zip around wallet with the varsity patches in the Cardinal color. So let me pull out all of this. So as you can see, just like the bag, the interior has a beautiful blue leather. So there's 12 card slots right here. Then you've got um, a pocket. Then there's like another pocket. I guess you could put bills there. Another pocket. Then you've got a zipper. The inside of the zipper is fabric. The rest of the inside of the rest of the wallet is leather. So actually, yeah, so you got, so it's 12 total. So it's, you got six on this side, six card slots on this side, and then six card slots on the opposite side. So on each side, you got six card slots, and then like a slip pocket behind the card slots. So this is a very roomy wallet. The details say that it actually fits some phones, so... But this matches perfectly with the Rogue 25 with the Varsity patches that I purchased. Now, like I said earlier, this was $60 on the Coach website. I paid $100 um, on Club the Mode. However, retail for this is $250. $250 US, $310 Canadian. So even at $100, I, th I still got a good deal. So here it is. This is the oh wallet with the varsity patch and i didn't even see this there's a, a pocket on the back so this wallet is very spacious you could probably use this as a clutch like if your phone fit in here you could probably just throw your phone in here and um just have this on you if you just needed something small but yeah this is really nice i'm glad that i picked it up so that's the first thing so i came across an ad on facebook for uh, a lash lift kit and I am not one to do lashes 
I don't really like a lot of synthetic stuff, so I've lashes have just never been my thing. And then I think with the trend of everybody wearing like these huge, too big, too thick fake lashes, it's just turned me off to lashes altogether because y'all, it's just been looking ridiculous. So I've just never been one to do lashes. Um, I'm not really that good at applying makeup, but I thought I would try this Lux Lash Lift Kit. So I got this, I saw an ad on Facebook for it. So basically it's supposed to curl and lengthen your lashes to make it look like you have on lashes or mascara. And each curl and lift treatment, it's almost like a perm for your lashes. It's supposed to last a few months. And this particular box I got was like $39.99, I believe. They have different levels, but this is what I got. And in here is So it, it has a perm lotion, fix lotion, nourish lotion, a lash comb, lash pads, and then two boxes that look like mascara. Oh, and applicators, and then the, um, I guess the perm. So this is what it looks the kit looks like. So I will be using this within the next week or so, and I will let you guys know um, if it works, how I like it. Um, if I go blind or what. So I'll be the guinea pig for you guys on this one and let you know how it works. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys was something that I picked up off Amazon. Now, I'm not gonna go so far as to say that I'm a bag snob, but I do like nice handbags and I tend to kind of veer more towards the luxury or high-end contemporary uh, when it comes to purchasing handbags. So I don't really do cheap bags unless they're really, really cute. And when I say cheap, I don't mean inexpensive because obviously something doesn't have to be expensive to be nice or of good quality. What I'm saying is I typically don't buy bags that are not leather um, and that aren't made well uh, because I just love handbags. So there's just no reason to buy cheap bags. But with that being said, I saw something on Amazon that I thought was just really cute. And I decided to go ahead and get it and just try it out because the alternative is not something that I'm willing to pay for. But I just thought this was really cute. So this was $32.99 on Amazon. And it is called, let me see here. I got my notes right here. It's called, um, it's the Voguzi Women's Quilted Crossbody with Graffiti. So it's, the dimensions are 10 by 10.23 inches wide, 6.10 inches high, and 3.15 inches in diameter. Now, this bag came in a bunch of other colors. There was like a black with pink. There was a white. There are a couple of different colors that I thought were really nice. Um, but for something just like with all these colors on it, like I wouldn't dare pay for a Chanel bag this loud. First of all, Chanel is not even in my budget. But if it were... I would be needing to get my cost per wear. Like when you paying $10,000 up for a bag, like I need to be able to wear that bag every freaking day if I want to. And I just could not see myself spending that kind of money on something fun like this because this is more of a novelty item. It's not an everyday bag. So I figured, you know, if I wanted something with the graffiti and a bunch of loud colors, that it wouldn't be a bad idea to just go for something um, inexpensive and fun. And if it holds up well, I might consider getting another one. So let's just take a look at the inside. Well, the outside. Let's look at the outside first. So, as you can see, this turn lock and this whole, it kind of reminds you of the Chanel. Like, the reissue looks like about the same size as the 225. They even put that same, like, burgundy-ish color fake leather on the inside to kind of match the Chanel, what the Chanel's look like. Um, there's a zipper pocket on the back wall. And then on the front wall, there's a huge slip pocket. It doesn't have the lipstick compartments like the fake Chanel bags have, but it has that color. Um, and then on the front, you have like a front pocket right here where you can maybe put your phone. Then it's a turn clasp. And then the chains do not have leather woven in them. Um, they're just silver chains. But I just thought this was a really cute handbag. And for $32.99, I said, why not? Let's just see, you know, something fun just to play around with. So this was that. So 
outside of that, that's all I have today. I just kind of want to share you guys a few things that I picked up in the last couple of weeks. But what are your thoughts about uh, Amazon? Would you purchase a handbag that's not designer or name brand on Amazon? And have you already? Comment down below. And please, if you like this video, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And until I see you next time, you guys take care. Bye.